okay coil and um, pavan u nothing okay okay guys small story first look at here So this is my uh, network. So this is my organization, first of all. So my organization, for example, it is in New York. New York. OK, it's in our New York. So I have a infrastructure. For example, I have a server, like a database server, or maybe a web server, uh, or maybe some storage server, some application server. Like this, I have a servers up there. Yes, are you able to hear? Mute, unmute. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, very, sir. Very, okay. Yes. So here is a person, user, or something like you can say developer, or maybe. Okay. He want to access this database server. So he has a database client. So he will connect to this database server directly. He can able to connect directly means through local IP address because of everybody is in a same LAN network only. Same LAN network. So obviously this user can able to access this server with a same network. Same LAN network. Okay. Or maybe another version. So for example, he is a, a web developer. Want to put his websites, web pages in the web server. And he will access this server directly in a LAN communication only. Like uh, I want to access my from my laptop to my server. So directly I can access because of both are in a same network, same LAN network. Like you are there from your mobile phone to your laptop from your laptop to another laptop can able to communicate with your local lan ip address only okay because so they are all in a same physically located in same location so they can able to access this is my corporate office or head office kind of stuff in a hyderabad i have a office same organization, but in Hyderabad office. In Hyderabad office, I have a server, some secondary server type, and users enabled access. So this user want to access this uh, web server how this user can able to access this web server from hyderabad to new york if he in case he want to access through internet through internet you want to access through internet normally we are accessing a websites through internet right so i'm accessing a website for example this is a java t point website i'm accessing through internet but I'm reading, I'm not doing anything, just direct access is not available. Okay, just web pages I'm accessing, but I'm not accessing web server, I'm accessing web page, not server. For example, I want to access that server. So how to access, same internet. Through internet you can access. But if you kept your servers directly into internet, it is very dangerous, right? Normally, you are in the internet. You feel sometimes, okay, someone can be hacked my system, right? <laughs> if possible or not possible, that's the secondary part. You directly, you put a server in a internet for accessing for a users. It's very dangerous. A lot of compromises will occur, and your internet is also. It's not just internet. We are taking broadband connection broadband what is this broadband connection we are taking internet means geo internet act internet airtel internet it's saying it is broadband 
in a broadband you will get a up to speeds up to 50 mbps up to 100 mbps up to means either you will get a 10 mbps 20 50 up to 50, 50 you will get it not more than that one anyway but it may not be always 50 depends upon the traffic depends upon the traffic internet uh, speeds will be changes like sample early morning six o'clock i started from my home to office i can reach by 10 minutes seven o'clock eight o'clock no problem eight o'clock then it is eight eight that it's a uh, 15 minutes after 8 30 it is 20 minutes after 9 9 30 it is become half an hour one hour so why because of traffic increases moment is reduces evening six o'clock evening 6 30 all offices everybody start moving 6 30 freezes 7 7 30 like that so 8 o'clock 9 o'clock traffic is clear so when in a broadband the traffic increases moment will be reduces so that is not good for a organization to organization communication normal our broadband we don't have a choice we have to use our broadband connections so what organizations are using from one office to another office they use a dedicated connections these called a leased lines these called a leased lines what is these leased lines it is a dedicated uh, connectivity between different uh, uh, between an uh, organization to another organization. it's not up to speed guys if 10 mbps means 10 mbps always 10 mbps okay so isps will take care of this leased lines for example i have an organization in hyderabad i have a uh, my another uh, branch office or a corporate office or a, uh, in a different location so i want to take a leisure lines contact isp you can go for airtel or a hcl or maybe um, um other uh, um, um, so many uh, providers and zio is also there so we want a leisure line between these organizations so they will give a line that is dedicated for you it is a kind of private line only okay it's not like our internet it is like a private line so here they'll configure less it is for connectivity this user want to access this server or this server he will access through this dedicated lines with this ip address not ip address cannot be changes because it says like a, how you access this user to this with a lan uh, same private ip address same way same ip address way only they will access so you are in the different uh, place even though you don't feel you are connecting through internet just you are connecting like a lan connectivity okay that's the point here okay one is laser line and laser lines also configured from one to another one connectivity that time so only this part is internet part only public part it is but not other people cannot be entered into this one other users cannot access outside of the organization people cannot enter into your network it is dedicated line it's a complete private line okay others people cannot able to this organization to this organization people can able to communicate by private line means automatically it is secure line so no need of any encryption they don't do any encryption here but it is automatically so private line it is laser line users from other uh, places other uh, locations can also access your organizations their servers kind of stuff for example i have put a, a database server this is my primary database server this is secondary database server 
I want to make them to synchronize. What are the databases written here that should be updated here also? So I want to maintain two database server with the same data. So there is also synchronized through this one line only. This is how the infrastructure is, the designs, uh, and how they will communicate. Same communication. So both are in a look like a same LAN connection, even though there are in a different geographical location, but both are in a look like a same LAN connection. And this user, how this user is accessing this database server, same way this user is also accessing this database server, same IP address, direct connectivities. Okay, guys, understand these legal lines, dedicated lines. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next. I have a small branch office, for example, small branch. I am taking an example for some and this is Pune office. Small one. Not uh, many users, not any servers. Are there. But he want to get connected to this web server or a database server or some storage server. Or some mail server. OK. He want to connect again. Problem is this should be in the Internet. So it's not in the Internet. Why? Because it's a security. Right? So outward face means a public face connection. Like I said, it is a web page public directly. No problem. But the remaining things like a databases, background servers, we should not put in a public directly. I'm in a branch office. These type, type of laser lines cannot be given. If I put a laser line from here to here, it is very costly. You have to pay monthly, yearly fees are there. Public IP addresses, okay, both side configurations always become a challenge. Second one, so home user is there. The person is working from home. Nowadays, most of the people are work from home candidates. On the home user is also there. For home user also, from here to here, we cannot establish legal lines. And a traveling user is there. One day I am in Hyderabad, the next day I am in Vishakhapatna. Okay. I travel from one place to another place. So dedicated connections I cannot put for every time, any place, right? For example, for I went to Bangalore. And again, some hotel is staying for two days. So cannot do it. Okay. But everybody can easily can connect it to internet, like a broadband connection, public internet connectivity. People can connect to the internet. So what this organization is doing, This organization means this office, what he's done is he put a VPN server. A VPN server. One part of VPN server means the VPN is also connected to public. And another is connected to LAN. Okay. Now, user in this branch office or user in the home okay can able to connect internet so what he will do it uh, i need this once he is already in internet through internet he established a connectivity so first he will send a request to this vpn server the vpn server verifies the user request and user authentication username, password, connectivity, what type of connectivity is required. So you will verify and as per the VPN connection, it is there. Then you will authenticate this user and you allow the user to access this private network. Allow the access this private network. So that is simple. 
this line. Okay. So why I put a thick line? Because in a public, you're axing means network compromise, right? Security issues. Why I put a thick line? This VPN, once it is verified your username and password, it established the connectivity between VPN server to your system, your system. And uh, you are uh, accessing this private network directly from your system, not from your network, guys. Your network is public network. From your system, it is look like you are accessing your network, like your private network, just like how this user is accessing this. Same way, the same IP address wise only, we are able to access. But it is the packets are traveling through public network only. But you are throwing private packets are traveling to public network. It is again compromise. Possibility of data tampering, data stealing is possible. So what it will do, your VPN is it encrypt your data. And data is you are simply say, guys, um, you are accessing your infrastructure, your private network through the public network. You're accessing your private network through the public network. But your connectivity is encrypted. Tunneling, using a certain tunneling protocols, your data is encrypted, channeled. So then even though you are traveling in the public, you are traveling like a public on private only. That's what it is called as a virtual private network. So virtually. It is a private network, but really it is a we are going through public only. So you can able to connect with the public. So then. Any place from any place any time through internet, you can access your private network over the public. First of all, you have to connect it to VPN server. VPN server verifies your connectivities using your username, password kind of stuff. Once you are done verification, VPN server establish a, a connectivity between VPN server to your system. Through that connectivity, you can able to access your private network. OK, guys, understand some but uh, this LAN communication, VPN server communication. Yeah, it's a... OK. Uh, so why we are going to VPN? So because of laser lines cannot be fit in every place. So VPN is compared to laser lines, cost is reduces. Why can't you use only VPN? <laughs> VPN as again the public network. You have to go through the public network. Public network sometimes uh, full speed, sometimes less speed. Uh, the speed broadband connections varies. Okay, so that's uh, two parts. Same diagram, same explanation is here. It is. A lazy line is a reserved circuit between two communication point that is always active, rented for monthly fees. Lazy lines are dedicated, meaning that any bandwidth association with lazy lines solely for a private organizational use. It is a fixed bandwidth, stable connection. So here is a two, uh, two or more. I means so T1, T2, T3, T4 or E1, E2, E3, E4, depends upon their country, there is a standards. T1, E1, this connectivities are there. So you take T1, so then that T1 uh, bandwidth is, like it shows 1.544 Mbps connection. T2, T3, so the bandwidth increases, okay? So which type of uh, connectivity you required, you have to take in from here. Broadbands are up to speeds, not a stable. Sometimes less, sometimes high. Depends upon the traffic. 
I use New York example only here. Okay. Very good. So leisure lines are you have to pay monthly, rented for monthly, and not able to connect always uh, in a, for every uh, branch office or a home office kind of stuff. So we use a VPN for a connectivity purpose. A service that help you to stay private online. VPN is establishes secure encrypted connection between your computer and the internet providing a private tunnel for your data and communication while while you use a public network. So so via public network we are connecting to our private network using VPN. So what VPN is doing? VPN is secure and encrypt the connection. So what are the data you are sending and receiving? That data cannot be exposed to any public network. OK. So that is a what VPN. Of course, some other lines also there, guys. I use a word tunnels. So VPN use the tunnels to connect. User. So these tunneling protocols will help secure the connection, encrypt the connection. PPTP, point to point tunneling protocol. SSTP, secure socket tunneling protocol. L2TP, layer two tunneling protocol. Point to point tunneling protocol. So, Just for abbreviation, I am uh, to show you for that one. Yeah, you can. So many are there. I want this PPTP, SCTP. Where it is? Your yeah, layer two tunneling protocol. L2TP layer two tunneling protocols. This is at what I want. PPTP, SSTP, secure socket tunneling protocol, layer two tunneling protocol, IKE, uh, internet key exchange. Somewhere it is there, IKE, internet key exchange. GRE, generic routing encapsulation. IPSEC, internet protocol security. So these are a kind of stuff are there. So point to point secure socket L2T IKE IPsec. This is for use for authentication, guys. MS chap is used for authentication. For authenticating at this VPN. So you send a VPN connection request with your username and password. But who will verify your username and password? So VPN uses different type of authentication server, like a radius servers, act to directories, 3BS servers for authentication and authorization. You got authenticated, then only authorized or not, it will decide. You're allowed to access or not. VPN use end-to-end -end encryption to provide you with the online privacy and security because you are connecting to internet. So your data should be encrypted so your data is encrypted while using VPN. if routes your data through encrypted tunnels nobody can see what you are doing in on the internet expose your identity even if hacker intercepted your encrypted traffic they don't able to understand they won't able to understand what is the content in it vpn is cheaper and safe than a leisure lines Legion lines not encrypted because it's directly private. So no others people are not allowed into VPN, but VPN uh, into the legion lines. But in VPN, you're accessing directly through internet. So compulsory encryption is required. User connected to remote infrastructure, like a connecting. 
user connected to remote infrastructure like a connecting in a local network as i said guys you are connecting from here to here you are accessing this one from here to here or here to here both our connection is look like a same this guy is connecting from here to here like a local lan network same private network here to here also it look like a you are connecting through same private network. We can't able to use laser line connections. Uh, so where we cannot able to use laser lines, there we use VPN works. Who is this VPN server? So how to make a server as a VPN server or which devices work like a VPN server? In a Microsoft Windows Server, you can configure our RAS or RA. So recent, uh, the current versions are remote access servers. Older uh, Windows servers are used routing and remote access servers for VPN connection. In Linux machines also, you can configure VPN server. You can make a Linux server as a VPN server. Direct VPN routers are available. You can make a, a firewall as a VPN server. So that is again, guys, you take a firewall. The, in firewall also, you must have a VPN feature inside. So compulsory, you have to search. You want to create a VPN server for your organization. So you want to make a firewall as a VPN server. You have to search properly. The future is there in this firewall or not. OK. And uh, finally, last uh, for thing is different uh, types of VPN servers are there. Remote access VPN server. I explained uh, this is remote access VPN server. Okay, because you are accessing your infrastructure or your private network, your organization private network from your system, right, through internet. So that is remote access purpose. Another one is site to site. Site to site. For example, I have another branch office. Uh, maybe uh, a small branch, it is uh, in a Bangalore or Chennai or Noida. So we'll take Noida because you are Noida people. Here also I have a servers. Now I want to make a connection like here server, here server synchronization. Here also database server. I need a synchronization between these two things. What I will do it here also I'll put a VPN. Here also I'll put a, a VPN server. And make a connection through public like this. This VPN to this VPN. This VPN to uh, why it is. This VPN to this VPN. So this server can able to access um, this database like a linked in a local. So through this connectivity site to site. Mobile VPNs, personal VPNs for you yourself, for your for your purpose. You are using some VPN services for. Uh, your home net or you want to access that is you can create your own personal VPN services. Mobile VPN also. Mobiles we are connecting sometimes public networks. So that time for example you went to a coffee day. So you will get a free Wi-Fi. So it is non-secure public network direct to public. Uh, multiple users are connected in same. Railway stations. Multiple people are connecting even you don't know who is connecting to it. That time this mobile VPN is also useful to secure your network. Okay. Of course, generally after completion of this one, I will tell some warnings, but uh, we don't have much time. I think uh, this is enough for uh, your uh, VPN. Uh, I will tell warnings. So first warning is guys. Uh, no, 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 separately. Now I don't have some energy, so I need more energy to tell that one also. Separately means when we got a general talk that time, 
I will tell about VPN and I will also share one video. I will share one video on a VPN and a proxy servers also. OK. Understand guys, what is VPN? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So compulsory read these underlying lines to understand what is VPN. Okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. That's it for today. So tomorrow we'll discuss another topic. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir.